thejbeans.net. We had a great time sailing aboard the Carnival Conquest in December of 2018. And if you follow these 11 tips, you'll likely enjoy sailing on her as much as we did. Our first tip is to visit the secret decks at the front of the ship on deck 6, 7, and 10 if you want some quiet or alone time. You can access the secret outside areas by going through any of the sets of doors near staterooms 6207, 6208, 7207, 7208, 1003, and 1004. These areas are also great for seeing ports, particularly when all the other passengers are crowding the higher decks for a view. Our next tip is to avoid embarkation congestion on deck three by walking up the atrium stairs to deck four. Most people board the ship for the first time and immediately head to the forward elevators on deck three, which makes for longer waits to get anywhere. If you instead walk up the atrium stairs to deck four, you can walk through the upper level of the Renoir dining room to use the midship elevators. And if the midship elevators are not available because the crew are moving luggage, you can continue through Alfred's bar to the aft elevators, which were practically empty of guests during our embarkation. Our third tip is to avoid decks three and four if you want to quickly and easily get from one end of the ship to the other. There's simply no way to get around the ship's galley on deck three between the Renoir and Monet dining rooms, inside or outside. Because of this, the midship elevator area on deck three is essentially a dead end. On deck four, you won't be able to get to the other side of Alfred's bar or the Renoir dining room if access is closed off for either venue. Our next tip is to watch your step anytime you're crossing from carpet to tile while walking around the ship. Nearly every juncture between carpet and tile that we encountered on the ship had carpet that was a bit lower than the tile which frequently caused us and other guests to get tripped up. These junctures between carpet and tile are located in most, if not all, of the dining areas, entertainment venues, and public areas. Our fifth tip is to check some not so obvious areas if you can't find a lounge chair by the sun pool on deck nine or 10. Well after all the loungers near the sun pool were claimed on our cruise, we were still able to find plenty of loungers available at Deck 10 aft near the roof for the sky pool Deck 11 aft near the back of the jogging track Deck 12 forward on the port side of the ship and Deck 14 forward on both sides of the ship outside of the Serenity adults only area. Our next tip will help you remember where the two main dining rooms are located. Just remember to think opposite. The Renoir dining room is not in the rear of the ship. It's located at midship. And the Monet dining room is not at midship. It's located in the back of the ship. Our seventh tip is to use the stairs inside the Saison Buffet on deck nine to access additional seating on deck 10. A drink station is available in the deck 10 seating area, so you don't have to walk back down to deck nine for a refill. The deck 10 area of the Saison Buffet is also where you'll find the old fashioned barbecue, which serves up tasty barbecue and sides. Sauces from celebrity chef Guy Fieri are also available for added flavor. Bonus tip, be sure to grab a condiments container from Guy's Burger Joint on Deck 9 before you head up to the Old Fashioned Barbecue so you can keep the sauces from getting too messy. Our next tip will help you find the miniature golf course. 
The course is located on Deck 12 at the iconic Carnival Whale Tail Funnel. However, the entrance to the course is not exactly obvious, especially on the ship's deck plan. Start by climbing the stairs from Deck 10 up to the jogging track and sports deck on Deck 11. Next, climb the stairs and enter the sports deck area. Cross to the other side of the courts toward the whale tail. And finally, climb the stairs to the golf course. Golf clubs and golf balls are available near the first hole of the nine hole course. Our ninth tip is to check the starboard side of the atrium bar on deck three. If you want an extra printed copy of the fun times, which lists the daily activities. They even had copies available there when we boarded on embarkation day. Our next tip is to locate the stairs you can quickly and easily take between decks four and five near midship. If you find yourself near the Taiyaki ice cream station on deck five and want to get to deck four, take the stairs located just forward of the station instead of trying to find the somewhat hidden midship elevator area. Likewise, if you're near the Ford entrance to Alfred's Bar on Deck 4 and want to get to Deck 5, the stairs are easily accessed on the port side of the hallway. Our final tip is to get to the entertainment venues early if you want a good view of the show. Practically all the entertainment venues have large columns or other obstructions that block the view of guests who are unfortunate enough to have to sit behind them. The Toulouse-Lautrec Main Lounge, Alfred's Bar, Blues Piano Bar, Vincent's Bar, Henri's Dance Club, and Degas Aft Lounge all have obstructions to avoid.